I'd like to talk to all of you about connection. Many of you have some understanding or perspective and hopefully some experience of the Feldenkrais method. And I think there are things about the method that can be made more explicit in our understanding of what it brings to us, what it affords us. And the first thing that's really primary is this sense of connection. Now, it brings up the question, connection how? Connection with what? Connection with who? So, of course, many modalities that involve touch or classes where people are guided through things, there's a connection with the other person, right? And in the Feldenkrais method, of course, there are ways in which we connect that I believe are rather unique in how we go about exploring that. And one thing that's very unique in the Feldenkrais method is the focus on the connection with ourselves. So that when someone is trained to be a Feldenkrais practitioner, there's a, a huge amount of learning that takes place by doing awareness through movement, the classwork. And the point of that work is to get to know ourselves better, to feel more connected with ourselves. And the feeling of connection that we're learning is not one that's objective. We're actually learning to be more subjective, to know ourselves better. Moshe was once asked, can you describe the Feldenkrais method in one sentence? And he said, know thyself. So the question is, how do we come to know ourselves? So when we're doing awareness through movement, there are some very fundamental things that we're learning to relate to and connect with being our skeleton, having a sense of how we move through our skeleton. And when we talk about moving through our skeleton, it implies, although it's not explicit for people, and it has to be teased out a little bit, that whenever we're using ourselves skeletally, we're forming a connection with the ground. And this is like essential for any movement to be skeletal in nature, there has to be a relationship with the ground. 